today Paul's cooking hangover French toast. Looks amazing, dude. Mm. Hello, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken and Paul Cook and Review. How are you doing, Good. sir? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So what is going to be on the grill today? Well, I figured since everyone was celebrating New Year, we might as well do like a hangover French toast. Because some people might be hung over after a New Year's Eve party. It's very possible. <laughs> so uh, what are the ingredients we're going to be using? It's a secret. Okay, let's get to it then. Okay. Okay, Paul, what's first, sir? Hmm. We're going to cut some bread. So we're going to make it nice and not too thick, but probably do like that. We, want some, we don't want to end the paint. Beautiful. Nice. Two, You're good at that. Yeah, thank you, Ken. <laughs> what I'm going to do with two of these, I'm just going to take a little tiny center section out. Oh. Interesting. Out of each one? No. Uh-oh. -uh. Just like that. Next, we're going to separate two eggs. So I have just the yolk, one there. You want just the yolk. Oh. So you just put in two extra uh, white whites yes. into multiple, any particular reason. You will see, Kenneth, you will see. Just tell me. Look at, look at my hands. Well, that's a surprise you're gonna see. I don't wanna spoil it. Oh. I'm gonna spoil it for everybody. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a... Put a little bit of milk in here. Of vanilla extract. Oh, just go. This is sitting here, so we might as well use it. It's sitting there for like three months. Oh, I had it for breakfast this morning. It was really good. <laughs> Irish French toast. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Irish cream French toast. So I'm gonna set this right here, so you're close in. Burger tea. Burger tea. And uh, I guess before I start cooking, because this will be pretty quick, we should have to make a drink. All right, it's drink time already. So, we're gonna have some tequila. I love it. Well, I was thinking since we're doing a kind of breakfast thing, I didn't want to have. Uh, I didn't feel like drinking beer. So, and I was like, well, I could make a little tequila sunrise. I don't have any grenadine though. Oh, so you should have told me I could have brought some. I know. Doofus. Nice and refreshing. And some tequila. Oh, oops. Oops. Oop. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh boy. Get a little stir because I, I can see it floating on top. Oh boy. I was addicted to uh, tequila sunrises for a while. They were so were good. You? Oh yeah. That's a great breakfast drink. Oh, any, any time Kenny? breakfast drink. Cheers. Buddy. Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Oh. Oh my gosh. Very good. What was it? Wasn't just orange juice? Banana. I was gonna say when I first smelt it, it's almost like a pina colada. Yeah. But with uh, without rum, we got tequila. It's, it smells like, like um, uh, pineapple juice right away when I first smell it. But now it's banana. Very good. Well, let's get back to cooking. Are you sure? Because we're gonna like down these. Oh, I want to give a shout out to this guy Michael that I bumped into at the mall, and we'll flash a picture up. He was uh. Michael. Yeah. Okay. It was a guy. Go, it was, I was shopping for my wife, and I went to a soft mock, and this guy recognized me and did a little picture. We'll throw that up. And uh, cheers to you, buddy. Making making Paul famous one video at a time. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start making French toast. I'm just gonna heat up the oil in the pans. While that's heating, I can still sip and have more drinks. Nice. <laughs> ah, damn, that's good. Oh. So you can see when the uh, when it starts to heat up, it'll, it'll the oil will roll around the pan quite easily. More runnier than syrupy or kind of thing. It changes the viscosity. The viscosity. It's like motor oil. The viscosity. It's great. It's wonderful. 
and you want it to be you want it to get hot first before you, you dip it in the, in the egg and put it in the pan. So we just wait. It's a waiting game. Okay. Why don't you have a drink? <laughs> Always smell your bread. Your Always bread. smell the bread. So we're, gonna... <laughs> so we're gonna dip each piece in, put it in the pan. Both sides. Yes, you want to submerge it there. Because you want that Baileys to really get in there. Mmm. Nice. How does it look so far, Kenny? It's looking good. Just set this over here. And a quick little wash. There's there. something missing out of these two. Oh, yeah, there's something missing, all right. Cinnamon? Oh, I always put cinnamon on mine. Oh, smell. Can you scratch and sniff that? Beautiful. Some cinnamon on this bad boy. I love cinnamon French toast. It's the eye of the tiger. Oh. Do 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 do. Oh, look how that fits in there. Beautiful. It's almost like you planned it. It's almost like it's looking at you, Kenny. <laughs> so while I've got that going, a little. Uh... Mm. Oh. Take a bit of jam. I'll leave the lid off because we need that. I'm gonna take a bit of water. Mix that around. There. Get that going. Some more booze. Oh, mm. Grand Marnier. Not one of my favorite liqueurs, but it's no? good in certain things. It's good in this. Yeah. I'll tell you that right now. Just drinking it straight for a shot. Meh. Kind of tastes like orange rinds. Oh, this is tasting awesome. It almost tastes like another one. <laughs> It almost tastes like another one. Love it. Whisk it, bro. We're, whisk whisk it. It. We're gonna whisk it real good. You're gonna whisk it. Oh, oh, oh. Paul's gonna whisk it all. And this is gonna be like a syrup on top. Shh. <laughs> I'm not trying to guess. It's fun. It is fun. Paul's homemade alcohol. Strange brew. Look what it's done to you. Whisk it real good. Sexy. Are you done yet? You're not done. I'm. Oh. Hard with the ice cubes. Damn, that's good and refreshing. So I'm just gonna put a bit more cinnamon on this side now because I did flip them all. Right. They should be good to go. So we're gonna start our, our little construction site here. One for you, one for me. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> oh no. You ever done this before? Or this is the first time. Who? You! Well, I thought you were talking to the people out there in, in no. La La Land. <laughs> no, that's the first time I've done this. You just thought of it and that was it. Yes, yeah, so it would be good if I was. Oh. And away it goes. And away it goes. No, because all these things taste amazing, it's good when you're not feeling too great either. Oh, yeah. Runny eggs on toast oh, for the hangover. That cures everybody. And bananas on top. And bananas nice. everywhere. It's starting to smell like funnel cake in here, <laughs> isn't it? Because mm. of the, the cinnamon. Yeah, you're getting the, uh, the lovely banana in there. Okay. Oh boy. What are the what are the two with the yolks? Oh, that's my yolk. <laughs> I'm just so curious. Oh shit. What is Paul doing to us, people? <laughs> oh no! That. Of course, you gotta bake. Bacon. Oh, I'd love to see some people try this one. And then the top. Holy cow! Oh. <laughs> Let's see how thick. Oh yeah, she's nice. I have syrup. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Make sure you 
sure she doesn't fall over. That's melting stuff. It is. Holy cow. I had no idea this was going to happen today, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Neither did I when I woke up this morning. And I did my poutine review today, too. On did you? This. No. It's not going to help me. We're not done, Kenny. It's not going to help my situation whatsoever. <laughs> A little happy face. A little happy you. face. There. How's that? That looks amazing. I think that's picture time. It is picture time. All right, Paul and I are ready to eat this monstrosity of a <laughs> uh, French toast structure. I don't know, you could, you could almost call it the triple layer. No, we'll just keep it as a... Yeah, uh, I think if I went a, a fourth high, it would have started to fall over. Yeah, we don't want to go too high on that. And the fact that there's a yolk in there, all special and you everything. cut it. It's going to break open, is it? Oh, when yeah. we open it, when we cut it? Yeah. Oh, so look at that, actually, people. If you wanted to just start on that to get it all seeping down across. Oh, this is going to be messy. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yeah, you're just going to have to like tip it over. To, yeah, I'm going to have to, oh boy. Because this is, yeah, I'm going to tip it's gonna mine in. And it's all going to come in pieces. Because you want all that, oh, this smells yeah. divine. I'm going straight for that yolk and, and a, penis, a piece of, <laughs> did you say yeah? Almost said peanut, <laughs> no, almost said peanut butter. Mmm. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Mmm. Nutella, very sticky, but lovely. This uh, concoction that Paul made with the Grand Marnier and and jam is brilliant. Mmm. I haven't got to the bacon yet. I know, me too. I'll work my way down in there. I'm in the middle. I'm gonna try and get a bit of everything on here. So what I'd like to know is other people's remedies or favorite mm. meals for a hangover. Because this is a good one from Paul. What's actually nice is taking bites from different sections. Mm -hmm. Because now I'm getting, you got this, like the, the savory of the, of the bacon with the jam, the tartness of the jam mixed together. And then you're getting the, the Nutella and banana. And you can't mm. eat all of it in one shot. So you're like digging around and the meal's changing constantly as you're going through around. Then you can soak mm. the bread up mm -hmm. with the uh, syrup. Mmm. Mmm. Are you going to be able to finish that? <laughs> I'll be able to finish. I was just about to say it's a, a, almost too much food, but I'm hungry right now, so that's going to be no problem. So you ready to polish this off? I am. Hang on. I'm extremely full, buddy. Back to the couch for me. <laughs> <laughs> that is um, very oh. filling, obviously. Two, three, three large pieces of bread, lots of bacon, uh, the Nutella, the bananas, everything. Just, and it's very sweet too. Yes. So, if you don't like a lot of sweet in your dinner or lunch or breakfast, I wouldn't suggest that for you. Hey, but this is the hangover. This is when you're getting up late in the day because you haven't moved all morning. And is sugar good for you and on a hangover? It sure feels good. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a hangover this morning? No. But Somebody I, else did. Yes, someone else did. <laughs> and he, I got the blame. That's right. Paul Paul liquored him up and, and uh, he I had did. a hangover. Poor Mark. Poor Mark. We can You can use his name. Nobody knows Mark, that. just for you. <laughs> well, Paul, thank you very much for this lovely, lovely meal. Once again, you outdid yourself. Fantastic. Ooh. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button. It's down over there. Where? But if you love this button, <laughs> but if you love this video, if you love this button, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding. ding. And we'll see you next time on the Ken and Paul Cook and Review. Ken and Paul out.